Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about radio protocols and um, basically about protocols in relation to radio control uh, vehicles. So what actually is protocol? Protocol is basically system. So just think about protocol as a system. So you start off with a radio and the radio has to communicate with a receiver that is attached to a flight control board. So I'm talking about quadcopters here. So you have your radio and the radio will then all these channels, the switches that you set up will need to communicate by transmitting the, the signals from the radio to a receiver like this where you have this antenna so the radio talks to the receiver and then the receiver then process the signal and then the receiver talks to the flight control board through a connection on here on the pins here so this is a bigger type of uh, receiver where you have this one is four channels so you have channel one two three four but it can be converted to another uh, system so I'll explain it to you later so this is a smaller type of uh, receiver same thing the radio when you move your uh, sticks or your switches it then transmit through this antenna through and then the antenna on the receiver receive the signals then the receiver then pass on the signals to these wires to the flight control board and that's how your transmitter is connected to the flight control board and then you can control the flight control board and then the flight control board then controls the movement of the quadcopters so let me repeat what is protocol protocol is the system that allows you to transmit signals from your transmitter to a receiver and through that receiver to a flight control board so it's basically a system for the radio to talk to a receiver and for the receiver to talk to the flight control board so you can imagine this like um, a line where this um, antenna then connects to this antenna and then a wire here will then connect to the flight control board so let me use this the second one receiver to illustrate that again so this connects to this antenna and the wire that's connected here then it's connect to the flight control board and then this control and this uh, co finalize the connection to the flight control board so it's basically a system allows you to have a string from here attached to the flight control board so that this one talks to the flight control board through the system from the transmitter to the receiver so it is very important that all these connections they don't break if they break then you lose signal so that's why it's very important that when you choose a protocol that this connection from here transmitter to the antenna here is rock solid connection so that you don't lose connection and your drone doesn't fall, you know, fall from the sky to the ground so that is 
basically an introduction to the system. So I'm going to now to take you a little bit deeper into the whole system just to illustrate the point of how they work and what are the different terminology that they use for the system itself. So let me put away the transmitter and the receiver and I use illustrate this with a diagram. Let's look at this diagram. So let me just zoom in for a bit. So instead of the uh, physical um, object that I've just shown you, so now you're looking at the diagram. So this is the transmitter, and the transmitter has a system. The protocol is actually a system. So don't get confused by uh, the terminology of protocol. Just remember that it is a system. And so that you don't get confused. So it's much easier for you to understand what system is. So let me just put this here so that you understand to illustrate the point. Protocol equals system. Alright? So, you have the transmitter, and the transmitter needs to talk to the receiver. So this is called the transmitter-receiver protocol. So it's a transmitter-receiver system that has a language here. So then, once the receiver understands the language, then the receiver has to transmit the signal that was conveyed by the language to the flight control board here. So between the receiver and the flight control board, there's another protocol. So there's another system. So it has analog or digital. Analog means like uh, just over the air like a uh, like a TV, um, like voice. It's like a TV signal type. Whereas digital, it goes from 010101. So just remember that the, I just don't want to go into a bit uh, technical. So just remember that analog and digital, they're different. Analog is not as good as digital. Digital is more 0101 signal so it gets less interference so let's recap the transmitter has to talk to the receiver through a language system and the receiver is connected to the flight control board to through a different type of system where you can convey the signal to the flight control board so in relation to the transmitter language then you have several. So we start off with uh, free sky. So that's a language from the transmitter to the receiver. So you also have then fly sky. That's the transmitter receiver language. Then after fly sky you have also, Futaba, that's another language. So you can, you can think about this like uh, different languages like English, Chinese, Indian, French, and, and many others. So Futaba is one of the languages. Then you have uh, DSMX, another language. Then you have DSM-2, which is part of the DSM spectrum language. Yeah, and that's the common languages that you have 
for the transmitter receiver system protocol. So it's free sky, fly sky, Futaba, DSMX, DSMS, DSM2. So if you see a transmitter that is termed as Fly Sky, Free Sky, Futaba, DS, DSMX or DSM SM2, then you are know that it's a transmitter receiver language. So you can choose this, this different one to go with the type of transmitter that you have that talks the same language. So for example, Free Sky, you have the Tyrannis Fly Sky. You have the standard fly sky type of transmitter. DSMX, you have the spectrum. Futaba, you have Futaba. So you have to match the transmitter language to the receiver language. So then with these languages, it will talk to the receiver. But the receiver has to be connected to the flight control board. So the way that the receiver is connected to the flight control board is through another system. So it's either analog system or digital. Digital is like your uh, HD TV or ultra 4K TV. So it gives you the best picture quality and signal. Analog is like your standard you know, the uh, cathode ray type of TV. It doesn't give you such a good signal, but you can actually, you can still watch it, but the signal is not as good as digital if you think about it that way as an analogy. So the way that is connected to the flight control board is by wires. So with a digital uh, signal, you only need uh, a type of wire like this with uh, three wires. The um, the red is the po is the positive, the black is ground, and the gray signal is the signal wire. So basically, there's only three wires. Then all the signal goes through these uh, gray wires. The ground and the positive supply power to the receiver. If you have, uh, so that's mostly digital, but for analog, you also have similarly uh, three types, uh, three wires like this. And I'll tell you the different term that they give for uh, the analog and the, and the uh, digital signal that use three wires. Um, so then the wires connect to the flight control board, say here. So the system is, if you have the, um, I'll go through the digital signal first. With digital signal, you have S bus, which is three wires connection. S bus and I bus is very similar. And I bus. I think it's for free sky or fly sky. Then you have the uh, spectrum, I bus. Then you have spectrum. This one is DSM two, DSM X. And then for analog, you have PPM, then you have PWN, this is the oldest one where you have to have every signal, uh, every channel you have three wires, the ground positive and the signal. So let's say you have a, a, a receiver that has four channels 
So the four channels, each channel will have three wires. So it's very seldom that nowadays you use PWN. It's more using the three wires. So with the analog, you also have PPM, CPPM, PCM, then you have PPM sum. So the most common uh, analog one with three wires is PPM connection. So now you know that uh, from here to here, you have a language, which is Fly Sky, Free Sky, Futaba, DSMX2, DSMX2, X and DSMX2. So, with the digital uh, connection, you have this I bus, S bus, spectrum. So with the um, analog, you put this. In. You have PPM, PWM, PPM sum. CPPM and PCM. So you can see that from transmitter to receiver, you have one system with all these languages. Then with receiver to the flight control board, you have digital here, analog here. So it's protocol equals system. It's basically a system. So that's why with receiver, you can see that FlySky can come with SPAS or PPM. Yeah. Uh, FlySky is IBUS and PPM. You also have FreeSky, SPAS, PPM, Spectrum, this one, DSMS or DSM2 is usually the serial connector, which is the uh, Spectrum 20. 48 or 1024. Futaba is S bus only. So by this you, you by looking at it this way, you will now be able to understand why uh, when you look at uh, a receiver what they mean. So say for example this one, this one has a free sky transmitter receiver uh, language. And it is, it can do PWN because of these um, pins, and also it can do PPM by shorting these uh, two pins, two channels. So with the Spectrum, this one, this one can do I think DSM two and DSM max. So I hope. With this um, video, you will now be able to understand a receiver and protocols and what they mean, so that it's now much easier for you to choose which one that you want to go with. So just remember, you need to have very solid connection all the way through to have um, a better flying experience so that you don't get interference. So from here to here, here to here. So normally the best one is digital, so you don't have that lag because with analog, you have a bit of a lag in the signals because it goes through one wire and because it pushes through the different uh, 
signals to this wire analog will produce more lag than the digital one so from the transmitter to the receiver you need to choose one that is more uh, solid connection so hopefully I'm able to give you an understanding of protocols and receiver uh, very simply to help you understand all these terms so I hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos so until next time see you. cheers